Hi guys, it's Dan, Technical Director of InsaTech UK, and on this video, we are going to go over corners, we are going to go over shrinking and the edging of the material. So in this video, we will go over cold pre-stretch, making the corners look nice and neat, alongside all the other skills that you will need in order to get the perfect panel. So the first thing that we're gonna go over is the corners. Now we recommend that you use a stretch technique in order to get the best corner that you can. So we make it so you pull the vinyl around 30 centimeters back from the corner. You apply heat, being careful not to heat the part of the panel that's actually on the bonnet as is. You then heat the, around the corner using a tucking tool or a squeegee to hook it into the corner itself. Once it's hooked, we recommend that you cut it just underneath the corner, making sure that everything is nice and tight. And once that's done, apply a little bit of heat. Use your squeegee to lock the corners around either side of that to make sure that it's fully sealed into place. Once that has been done, we recommend the best thing to do is to heat all of the edges. Now, Inozatech actually has pre-stretch built into it so when you apply heat it will shrink itself around the corner uh, we recommend that you do this around all of the flat edges locking it in with your thumb once you've done that it moves on to the edge of the bonnet we recommend once more to cut it with a one centimeter overlap using your index finger to give you the perfect cut that you physically can get straight then we say that you tuck it around the bonnet edge itself, making sure that you do it to a nice weld line to give you that overall finish. And then finally, with regards to the edging, we say that you hit it with heat, make sure it gets locked in, and obviously use your finger or, an, or a squeegee in order to lock it into place. A key thing with this is in order for the vinyl to stick and to make sure that you're not going to damage the vinyl, is you use your tucking tool or your squeegee to lock it into place and then follow it with the heat gun. Not traditional ways of heating it first and then squeegeeing it down. It's the opposite with the Inozatec film to activate the glue once you've already pressed it down. We then move on to the post heating section. Now, for an example, we will go over this door handle area. We apply heat to it to get rid of all of the wrinkles. We lock it ever so slightly around the edge just to make sure that it will not crease when we apply it and we palm the whole thing in in one go as best as you can to eliminate any glue lines. Now when post heating we recommend that the vinyl is post heated to 90 degrees celsius just to activate the memory effect and stop the Inozatec film from bouncing back on itself. When going into recesses such as the door edge it is important to feed the vinyl into the recess rather than stretch it in. We relax the film on all of the edges, just like you would in your best practice, and then post it around the corners. We recommend that the corners are done first and then you move on to the flat sections, making sure that everything is locked into place before you cut. So thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to all of our channels. There will be more videos coming, so keep an eye out for that. And if you wish to find out any more information about any of our products, you can look on our website at inosatechuk.com or go to our social media platforms that are all inosatechuk. Thanks for watching.